Hi there. Today I want to show you how you can interact with a Telegram open network. In this video, you're going to learn how to create a wallet, how to deploy a smart contract, and how you can send your first transaction on Telegram open network with the help of the really awesome group of the professional software engineers from Copperbits team. Let's get started. So, the first step, you have to go to their repository, github.com slash copperbits slash ton, ton, and just git clone the repository in your local folder. And I'm going to do it right now so you can follow me along. And uh, while it's downloading, I'm going to quickly show you like uh, the team behind Copperbits, they did a really good job at the documenting all the steps and all, all the things that uh, Telegram Open Network re released yesterday. And uh, I would highly encourage you to read the white paper and uh, to go through the how to uh, wiki page. And uh, it's located in this um, file. So here is the, the whole tutorial that we're going to execute today. And um, if you don't like watching the videos, you can just read the documentation to do it. Okay, so we just git clone the repo and now we need to create another uh, folder. Uh, let's call it builds. In this folder, you have to go to the release page under the ton repo. And we need to download a few files. Uh, so we need to download test white client, which is about 11 megabytes. So uh, one second. Uh, repost on tutorial. Okay, so we, you can save the file here and you would also need, and also the, the Chrome, when you download some binary file, it warns you that this file is dangerous, but um, I can assure you I've been running this file and nothing wrong happened to me, so just click keep. And then we would need this JSON file config in order to run the testnet. And you need a compiler called called Fifth. Uh, it's actually how you can compile your smart contracts, and you can comp like deploy this compiled um, output to the Telegram Open Network. So the first step is you need to learn how to uh, run your uh, uh, testnet node and connect to the network. Uh, it's very straightforward. You can ch uh, see this uh, line of code that you can just copy paste and run. Test white client. I'm just gonna quickly rename the file because I already had it like this. And then we can. Oh yeah. So when you downloaded the file, you need to change permissions on, the, on this file. So you can uh, make it as a exe executable binary. All right. So now we've done our first step. We were uh, able to successfully run the vocal node. There are a few comments and you can also run the help comment to see the list of the full comments. And like you can run last. Last is basically kind of syncs up with the, the, with the whole network to get all the latest state. So then you, we're going to create our first wallet. So how do we do that? You can go back to the how to file, which I'm also going to use uh, in order to generate the wallet. So there is like a testnet uh, faucet wallet uh, from which we can acquire some uh, gram tokens. Uh, that we can use in order to deploy the smart contract. So, but we will need to generate the public address first, uh, so that so that we know at which address we will be receiving our tokens. Uh, so we need a we need to basically deploy uh, compile the smart contract for 
our new uh, uh, wallet. So I'm going to copy paste and I'm going to create a file called new wallet.fif. That's the language that uh, the Telegram Open Network uses for their smart contracts. New wallet FIF, and I'm going to use our, my text editor to just copy paste um, this content from the tutorial, put it in your file, and then you would need your, uh, oh yeah, just click keep, don't forget to do that. So we need to compile this file with this uh, fifth compiler. All right, we were successfully, we just successfully compiled our uh, smart contract. And here we can see our address that is going to be used if we deploy this uh, bytecode, basically. It's not, it's called a bag of cells in uh, terms of Telegram open network. So we will need to copy paste this file uh, I mean, the this public address. And I'm just going to paste it somewhere. And then the next step is to get some faucet tokens. So you would need to like scroll down a little bit and find this test giver um, file, which we also just copy paste as a new file. Test giver FIF copy and paste and find this line where it says 0x60c. So that's the public address that you need to paste that we just generated. All right, save the file and then we can uh, also run the compiler. Fifth test giver. Okay, one second. Thing that we need to also add is to we need to provide the correct nouns for this test giver smart contract so basically this is the address public address of the test faucet that is going to send the tokens to our address so we need to find the nouns of this account right now so we're gonna run the command get account and we need to convert this uh, address to the format of telegram minus one means it's like a chain id master chain id for telegram open network so here we're gonna paste it and there is some information about this account that we can observe and uh, here we can see that the the current nows is 40 so that's we need to what we need to copy and paste in here on this line nine uh, so we can just say 0x and uh, 40. And then we can save this file and we can try to compile this uh, smart contract. Success. So we have successfully um, compiled it. Now we can see that if the output was saved as a wallet uh, qu query.boc bag of cells. So I'm going to uh, go back to my um, um, uh, interface, uh, node interface for the Telegram node. So I'm going to run the comments called send file and then just paste the name of this file. Great. So we can see the message status is one, which means we have successfully provided the correct uh, file. So now we can run the command called uh, last. So that is just quickly to sync up the blockchain. And then we can check again the status of the faucet account to see if the nouns has increased. That's gr gr great. So we can see the nouns right now is 41, that, which means it was able to send the transaction to our address. Uh, so next step is that uh, we can we can also let's let's check the um, uh, what's what's gonna happen if we're gonna say get account for our address and yeah nothing on the, on this chain ID right now so okay uh, now we can deploy 
uh, provide the file uh, that we deploy for the new wallet. Uh, let's see. New wallet fifth. The output was new wallet query dot boc. So that way we can deploy our con uh, our contract and um, have the private key. We we can also verify the um, account balance of our account that we pre-generated the transaction for the faucet. Uh, we can see we already have some balance for this account, which means yeah we can now use this account to deploy our smart contract. How do we do that? So we can say uh, send file new wallet query .boc. and now we can run last and then we can check our account again get account great now we can see that now this account has some data wallet so we have come successfully created an account for telegram open network and which you all have your private key and we got some test tokens in this account so the next step how do we send how do we use this account in order to send some uh you know some grams to somebody else so let's say uh, we can go back to the tutorial uh just scroll down find the uploading the code and data of the new smart contract using the simple wallet smart contract so here it's a little kind of bash script which uses the fifth as the interpreter we can just copy and paste this content as a new file we can call it send transaction that uh, sh because it's going to be like a bash style uh, programming so here all we need to paste uh, basically as you can see it, it accepts as a parameter the file name for the private key uh, not just the private key for your account and here we can see that um, basically we need to change the nouns uh, because the nouns should be one because we have never sent any transactions oh i think we already sent the transaction so that's why we increasing the nouns to one and that's amount of uh, grams that we would like to send to um, destination address which is this one everything else looks good and um, here we can just change the name of the output of boc let's say query send transaction that boc so now we can compile this file oh not the compile uh, we can run this file i'm just gonna make it executable using chmod and uh, now I can run this comment and paste the, just the name new wallet without any file extensions and press enter. Oh, I have a, I, so in order to use that, you have to make sure you have the fifth in your, um, in your path directory. So um, you can like, since we just downloaded, uh, I'm gonna just create a symbolic link in my user bin fifth or i can just change the path on the first line i think it's in my uh, user local bin folder uh, which i have uh, created before so send transaction and the name new wallet great success uh, now we were able to compile this um, uh, pre-compile this uh, transaction so now we want to send this transaction to the network so we named it new wallet query send transaction so I'm just gonna uh, paste the name and we're gonna do same thing that we just did already twice is we copy paste the file we go to the node we send send file put it here we got the status one and now we can change our um, see like the previous balance it was like six something 6.4 so now our balance should change to the different value that we specified here 
is like uh, 100 millions or something of gram. Uh, so now we can say uh, get account and check our account. And now we can see that our balance has changed because we were just successfully send the transaction to Telegram Open Network. So that's the end of our tutorial. Feel free to ask any questions in the Telegram group for these awesome guys, Copperbits. I think the link is uh, located on their uh, readme page that you can find and contact us on Telegram, which points to their public Telegram group. Feel free to join, ask any questions and let, let us know if you need any help. Thank you very much for watching.